Hello friends, my name is Manjesh Kumar and currently I am working as an assistant professor in SRM University IP in Mechanical Engineering Department. And today we are going to interact one PhD scholar who is working in this department and last year he has joined here. So today we will going to know how is uh, how he, uh, he is feeling here and what is the work environment and many questions are there that uh, we will going to know it. so uh, so first you introduce yourself and tell about yourself okay so thank you for for calling me for the introductory sessions uh, myself the basis uh, i am from lokimpur assam uh, currently i am pursuing my phd uh, here in uh, assam university ap and my research area is in additive manufacturing bioprinting so i have done my btech uh, from assam kajiranga university uh, in mechanical engineering after that i joined in johar engineering college from there i have done my mtech after that i joined here okay so do uh, now you have joined here so uh, tell me devasis uh, what is the process of selection uh, to what is the method different methods are there so explain everything so when you talk about the selection process in my case uh, i have come through one written test after, uh, followed by one interview so that inter uh, that written test was conducted in online mode only after the written test uh, then they conducted one interview after the interview uh, we got the uh, selection for uh, when you talk about uh, the candidates who have the gate net or csrs jrf then uh, they can directly come into the interview uh, they will be called uh, for the interview directly uh, they can directly approach to the respective faculties for their admission okay so in one year how many times we can apply and uh, how many times the in the uh, interviews are conducted uh, basically in a year they are conduct uh, for uh, four, four times in a year but those who are having uh, get csr net net grf they mm -hmm. can uh, directly approach to the faculties at any time any time they can take admission yes. okay so this is the way of getting admission in srm city as a phd scholar so now what is the scholarship you are getting here so and uh, how means the scholarship you are getting and any amount that can be extended so many things are there so you explain everything uh, currently uh, we are getting 36000 per month as a, as a stipend so uh, i am staying in hostel so for the hostel we are paying 8000 per month for uh, hostel and uh, for food mm. so uh, i am getting a net amount around uh, net amount is 28000 per month so those who are staying outside, they are getting the full amount that is 36,000 per month. So uh, after two years, uh, we can apply for the uh, SRF that is uh, around 41,000 per month. Mm. So they, uh, anybody can apply after uh, having two publications, that is in Q1 or Q2. And there is no any tuition fee? Yes, uh, that is one of the important questions. Uh, but uh, yes, there is no any tuition fee here. So what are the scholarship you getting? That is a net amount. That is like a pocket money you are getting. Yes. Okay. That is very good. And now what is the working area? In which area you are working? Currently I am working in the area of additive manufacturing. Basically I will uh, use uh, bioprinter. Hmm. And for the bioprinter I am going to fabricate one uh, bone tissue scaffold. That will be, uh, hopefully it will be very useful for the biomedical area. Okay. That you are targeting it. Yes. So uh, here, the, that is your working area. So for that research, what are the facilities available for you? you can, uh... In my, for my area, we have one bioprinter, mm -hmm. we have the FTIR, and we have the, uh, the X-ray diffractometer. Mm -hmm. So and other facilities are there. And also those facilities are not here, available here. We can go to SRM ISC that is in Chennai. Mm -hmm. There also we can go for the experiment. Okay, so you can perform experiment with some instrument that is not allowed, means very little yes. instrument, one to all. So it is everywhere. In yeah. IIT also, this instrument will be not available. Any, in any institution in India, you will not get everything. I don't know about CSIR, another research institute, but in IIT everywhere, you will not get this thing. So this is 
I'll say a good part. But when we talk uh, almost all the instruments that are basic instruments that are required for the size, hmm. all are available. Yeah. Uh, means like big instrument like FSM that currently not available, but the university is going to plan uh, in coming year it will be there. So uh, now what is the working environment? Working environment means uh, what is the culture, what are the seniors, how they are supporting you, what are the facility and uh, what are the faculties we have here. So faculty behavior, how it is going on. What are the age group of scholars and what is lifestyle, working load? So these are the things you have to tell us. If we talk about the working environment, the working environment is very good. There is uh, no any stress to the scholars. They can uh, they can directly focus on their research or their mm -hmm. studies. Uh, a few uh, teaching uh, teaching uh, assistance uh, work kind is there, uh, mm -hmm. but it is not that much of hectic. We can have enough time for our work. And when we talk about the seniors, they are all are supportive. Uh, they are all, all are doing fantastic job here. And uh, in my case, I don't have uh, seniors in my lab. Uh, but in your in my lab, but mm. in, in my department, they are working very well. Mm. And uh, when we talk about the faculties, then all faculties are well qualified and they are all, all uh, almost all are from IITs and abroad. And uh, what is the workload? Means uh, that uh, apart from TA, any other duty you are doing or not? Uh, no, actually, uh, if I mainly say focus on the research. Right? Mainly focus on the research. Oh, that TA, it is available everywhere you have to do that. TA, yes. that is. So, seniors are also very supportive. Yes. Okay. So, now the other question, uh, which is also very important, uh, that what is the lodging and fooding? So, what is the lodging and what are the food you are getting? Yes, uh, as I am staying in hostel, so I can uh, answer this better, in mm. better way. So for hostel facility, it is very good for PhD scholars. Mm. They are giving uh, two-seater two room and the bathrooms are also attached in every okay. room. And when you talk about the food, uh, for me, this uh, not, it is kind of average, average I will say. Uh, but because as I am from uh, Northeast India, Northeast part of India, and uh, here the the, the taste uh, the taste is uh, like uh, salt flavor is there. Okay. So uh, so uh, some people may not like. Uh, yeah, but North Indian people may not may like. not like. Uh, okay. So but for me it is kind of average. Like yeah. also I am not liking. You also <laughs> not like. So that is another part. So if you talking about the food, everywhere you will get like this. Uh, the review we will ask everywhere you will get like this. Any institution of India you will get like this review only. So it depends upon the the taste and the person, a specific person they have. It will depend person to person. Person to person it will depend. So now the another question which is very important that what we are seeing uh, many students are also thinking and these scholars also. So because this is the private university and here after doing PhD from this private university, is there any future or not? What is the future prospect? They are getting portal or not? This is the very important question. Uh, they, are get, they will get job or not? So we will know what is the experience of PhD at this devices and also the hit seniors where they are now. So these are the questions uh, that he will try to answer. So, so when you talk about the private university, <coughs> in his, uh, initially I do have some perception that in private university the research may not be very good, or it may be kind of uh, we have uh, we have uh, giving money and taking degree. Hmm. But in actual, in reality, it is not here. Uh, we are actually working for uh, for our degree, hmm. and when you talk about our seniors, they are publishing in good. Uh, reputed journals like you one and with good impact factor mm -hmm. and there is one uh, compulsion here is that we have to publish our uh, journals in q1 or q2 only mm -hmm. so it uh, gives the, the confidence to all the researchers all the phd scholars and when we see uh, when we talk about uh, the future perspective uh, my seniors are getting postdoc in good uh, reputed universities abroad uh, uh, like in uh, usa uk Australia, etc. Yeah, and one girl has also got uh, yes, yes. a very good university for the 
and uh, there was is you tell me uh, is there any provision if you are not publishing the paper you will get the degree no it's certainly not uh, how have many two, papers minimum you minimum need? two papers should be there that means q1 either q1 or q2 either q1 or q2 that is the most required yes and uh, their future you are talking about the future prospects uh, so you are telling that they are getting very good post docs yes. and uh, the uh, jobs also they are getting the company and uh, the company job you have not told actually uh, if you talk about our seniors they are uh, those who have already uh, got the degree mm-hmm. they are getting uh, post doc in uh, abroad but uh, as a new university so uh, there the are company so... jobs are not so much now yes okay so <clears throat> who is working already so because i have also talked to one student so already he has experience in the company so then he is thinking that he will go for directly company yes. but other research scholars i have also not so much interaction with other scholars so i don't know but you have some friends so that's why i am asking so we have seen that what is the future prospects and what is the working environment so you can think in your way uh, so what are the requirements you can compare with other university so he this view is him is uh, this devas is view so what he has experienced here and what he knows and what he is working so everything he has told already so this is the thing you will get in sri university ap and very attractive amount 36000 and if you publish the paper definitely you will get 41000 what i have seen i have jo- also joined in july so what i have seen that everybody is getting because i have attended two reviews where uh, they are up, uh, applied for they have applied for 41000 and they are getting easily because this is the provision if you have the papers q1 or q2 journal so first should be the uh, first paper should be the first author and another paper can be anything uh, in any position author position can be anywhere so these are the requirements for getting 41000 so basically everyone is getting it so you will also get and uh, definitely if you will not publish the paper you will not get the degree but what i have seen i am from guwahati so there is no such kind of provision so uh, that question also devas is answered what is the future aspects and uh, what is the future prospects so how you will uh, do in the future so these are the things uh, what we have discussed so it depends upon you what you think this are the total unbiased review nothing is a scripted no, uh, so this is not a scripted they are saying so it is totally unbiased review so thank you okay so also one thing i have forgotten so this is for this university where i am working and i will also do review and the scholars uh, about the scholars they are working other university also that private university in iit is also everywhere where is the my friend circle and also not about the scholars also the assistant professor they are working in other university like lani i know many, many people uh, they are also i i will try to discuss and uh, give you uh, the at uh, means uh, unbiased review so based on that you can think about your career already if you have completed your degree so these are the things uh, we will going to do in this channel so thank you